So here on the left we have our standard 15 amp breaker and on the right we got our arc fault that we're going to be changing it to. Before we get started it's always a good idea to shut off your main power. Now that your power is turned off it is safe to take off your panel cover. Whether your power is on or off, it's always still good practice to shut off the breaker that you are going to be working on. Next we'll unscrew the conductor from the breaker and then we'll remove the breaker from the panel. Next we need to trace back our black wire which is our power conductor so we can identify the white wire or our neutral conductor that goes with it. It is important that you identify this properly in order for the arc fault breaker to work right. Once you have identified the proper neutral, you can go ahead and unscrew it from the neutral bar and get it ready to connect to the breaker. Now we can begin to install our breaker. Most arc faults come with the wire coiled up like you see here. You can install it like that or you can uncoil it. It's really personal preference. After you decide how you want to install the wire on your arc fault, go ahead and screw it onto the neutral bar. Then you can clip the breaker back into its position in the panel. On a Siemens breaker, the neutral wire will go under the screw directly above the white wire on the breaker, and the hot wire will go on the screw beside that. If you're using square D, the neutral goes under the screw directly above the white wire, and the hot goes in the screw directly above the neutral. Now we can go ahead and install our conductors into our breaker. Make sure your conductors are making a good connection by giving them a little pull after they are tightened down. Before we turn on our breaker and test it, we'll put our panel cover back on to keep us safe from any potential arcing. Now it's time to test your work. Turn on your breaker, then push the test button on the breaker to check if it's functioning properly. If it trips, all is good. Cycle your breaker off and on to reset it. I hope this video helped you find what you were looking for. If you have a home electrical topic you'd like to see covered, please leave it in the comment section and we'll see you soon.